Hello world, we're back with another video of me, Brandon Jacobson, a beginner programmer, attempting to build a Jarvis-like computer program. As I said in my introduction, I have no formal training, and most of this is done by watching other tutorials. In this video, I will show you how I connected my Arduino board to my Python program. So an Arduino board is a microcontroller and it gives us normal electronics people access to build amazing programs. Uh, you give it a set of instructions, which I'll show in this video, and it does that one thing. Uh, it's incredibly powerful, and you can YouTube videos like the top 10 Arduino projects to see just incredible builds. Um, my build will not be in the top 10 because I will just be turning a light on and off. But I will be doing this through my central program, this Jarvis-like program. And again, once my family decides on the correct name that we're going to use, we'll stop saying Jarvis-like program. But in this video, I'm going to access the Arduino board and make the light turn off and on. So from there, the possibilities are endless because I'm showing you that through this Python program, I can access this Arduino board. Right now, it's connected by a cable, but you can uh, make it Wi-Fi enabled. So first, let's check it out, and then we'll go into the code because there's a good example of why I don't want to just be another tutorial YouTube channel and why I really think you should build things for yourself because there's a specific example that I had to figure out by myself to make this to work, and I've learned a lot about it just from doing that. So before we go any further, here we go. So let me run this program. Welcome. Who is this? Brandon. Please enter the security code. This is for YouTube purposes only, of course. Admin code activated. How can I help you? Arduino. Arduino. So I think when I'm recording YouTube, it takes the uh, speech recognition a little longer. So I need to fix that maybe by turning up a threshold that you can control. So as you can see down here, this allows me to turn the LED on and off. So right now it's just a capital H for on, capital L for off, which I'll show you later and then Q to quit. So we'll show it. And then in the upper corner, you should see the light turn on and then type capital L and it turns off. So this could be instead of capital H, this could say um, connect or some sort of command where you're connecting to an Arduino board. And then you quit. And so now I'm back in my Python. So bye. I can't do that. All right. Bye. I can't do that. All right. I'll just end it, but it's supposed to just say goodbye. So to build this, first you have to go to Arduino. So the Arduino has its own environment where you program things. So at the top right here, you can see this is where I got the tutorial from. So go ahead and check that out. And so the Arduino computer language is a lower level program than Python. So it's very unique. And the lower level you go, the more things like semicolons right here become super important. So most of the times when you're a beginner programmer, I would say 9 out of 10 times you forgot a semicolon. And so maybe not as applicable in Python, but in this Arduino it's very. So first we're going to set up the pin. That's the pin on the Arduino board. It's pin 13. That's where a serial communication goes through. And then you declare an incoming byte. If you're unfamiliar with programming, then I suggest you do a programming basics. So this is assuming people have a normal or a beginner to above level knowledge of programming. So first you set it up. 
9600 is what's called the baud rate. And then this is saying that, hey, I'm going to go to this, the LED pin. And then here's the loop. So it says, if the serial, which is the communications we have, is available, then do the following. If you see a capital H, then turn on the LED. So if incoming byte equals capital H, then turn it on. So a high is applying voltage, which turns it on. If it's a, a, a uppercase L, turn off the LED. So if the incoming byte equals L, then it's a low. So you turn off the voltage. And so if we didn't connect it to the Python, you can go up here and run the serial monitor, which is the input, the console to your Arduino board. And we can do it from here as well. So capital H, the light goes on, capital L, the light goes off. I could do this over and over. And then that's it. So it's important to note, though, that 9600 is the typical serial communication. You just have to know how Arduino works. And then go up here to Tools and the Port. And this port will be different for every computer. So you just have to know what your computer is doing. That's important. So what you do is you verify this code, make sure Arduino is plugged in, and you upload it. So like I said, Arduino is just a set of instructions. It's a controller. And then that's it. That's all that program does right there. And then we go into my Python program. And I'm not going to show you all the code behind the scenes. But when I yelled out or said, I just have a loud talking voice, Arduino, it sends me to this program right here. And so, again, if you're not familiar with programming, this might look a little weird. But first, you import serial. And so Python comes with a serial communications. If not, you just do pip install serial on a command prompt. Time is a prepackaged, so you just import that because you have to make it sleep because it sends a lot of information to this Arduino board too fast. Um, then you go into the control, and these, these print statements, that's what you saw below here. Then this is what you saw from the other screen. So the serial communications is COM3, which is what I showed you on the Arduino board, 9600, which is the baud rate, and then you sleep for two seconds. That way you're not constantly hitting your Arduino board. So the user input, we set it as off, so the light is off first. And so as long as the user input's not Q for quit, then you're asking the user for input. H equals on, L equals off, Q equals quit. So if you go to this link up here, you'll see a different form of this code. And that's because Python 3 has changed it, and that's where I had to look it up. So I wrote a note to myself, you have to save it to an ASCII, which is the type of programming that each key is loaded. If not, it sends a different kind of byte, and then your Arduino never sees it. Then we sleep, and then if Q is entered, we exit the program, and then your serial communications is closed, and then it sends me back to my Python program, where I unsuccessfully told it to say bye, because it's supposed to quit by itself. So that's the code behind it. So this code right here, the user input dot encode is something different than the link that I had to find out myself. And now I will always know that. And that's why I won't be uploading this to GitHub. And so, um, or if in the comments section you say, send me code, please, then I'm sorry, that's not the purpose of this tutorial. So you may be asking yourself, so what? You turn the light on and off. Well, controllers do just that. They control everything, though. So in the next couple of months, what I would like to do is set up a servo. And the Arduino comes with a, a weak servo. I need to get a stronger servo. And then I want to modify a Nerf gun because I'm obsessed with Nerf modifications. I've watched so many hours of YouTube watching people make Nerf guns stronger, faster. And so I want to mod my own Nerf gun, which I'll show on this channel. And then I want to connect it to the Arduino board and then connect it to this Python program specifically so I can shoot my son 
remotely. So if he's playing video games and he's raging on Fortnite, I can from my room shoot him with a Nerf gun. So I hope he's watching this and uh, just get ready for me to shoot you by voice activation with a Nerf gun. So you can, and how I'm going to do that is you can Wi-Fi enable Arduino boards. And so it can connect to your home Wi-Fi and that's how home automation works. And then you could even remotely control it over the internet. So that would be great if we're on vacation and I can still shoot my son with a modified Nerf gun. And so, but that's just the beginning because, you know, if my inspiration is an Iron Man suit, then each part of it will have some sort of controller. So in the next video, we'll kind of shift away from this Arduino board and then we'll be accessing Twitter through this Python application called Tweepy. And I'm super excited for this. I applied for a Twitter developer app and I'm sure they give it access to everybody, but I felt super special because I just got access this morning. So for now on, I will be tweeting from my Python program. And then you can even accept Twitter data and do stuff like sentiment analysis and just all that. And so um, I'm pretty excited. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave comments. Tell me what you want to see. Um, like it. Share it with your other friends who like Python programming. And uh, goodbye world.